Okay, folks, we're going to show you how to make your Nexus player more exciting and give you more capabilities out of it. We're going to show you how to run or how to connect a keyboard, a mouse, a USB port, so you can run uh, things off of your USB drive. And we're also going to show you how to connect it directly into your router. All these things I'll post in my description so you can have the links where you can get everything. But we'll start from the beginning. So your regular connector here, okay, you basically connect this little guy here. And this will give you a USB adapter on the end. Now this is where it gets exciting because now you can connect See here, I'll show you, I'll put that down. You could connect this right here, okay? This is basically, you have one, two, three, four, four additional USB connections to it. So you have your, your connector here. Jeez, there we go. So if you follow it, it goes right into here. Now this is vital and, and critical. You got to make sure that it's the type that you can connect into the wall. You got to make sure it's wired into the wall. It's powered by electricity. From here, you can connect a USB drive, which I have here. I believe this is. I don't even know how, how much is in here. 64 gigs of memory. So you can put movies, anything on here, and then basically watch it through your Nexus player. And you still have some left over. Now, if you look closely here, Anchor, this is where I have that USB adapters, basically your wireless for this and for your mouse. So if you want to watch YouTube and you're tired of going through the remote trying to get the letters. You can basically type the title of the video you want to watch. You can actually use your mouse around it and get it done that way. So you can connect the keyboard to it and that makes it easier that way. Now here's another exciting thing. This is a U-Green adapter. Now there's two types of U-Green adapter so you want to make sure you don't get the wrong one for this guy. There is one that's made for the Chromecast which I have in another video. But basically what you do is connect that here Okay, and then you connect this, you connect this right here into your router. You don't do anything with this. This is for nothing. This is in case you are connecting uh, a device like a Android tablet and you want your Android tablet to connect straight to the Ethernet. You can e either use on this end here, this, the USB, or this, but not both together. Unlike the other one that I have on my other video that's made for Chromecast, the USB part will power, will provide the power. This part will go to the Chromecast and this would go into your router. Don't get the wrong one for this guy. Okay, so once again, you plug it in this way and you connect this into your router. Now I'm going to see if I have the time to put all this stuff together again and do a, another video where I test the speed with my Nexus player running wireless and then another speed test with the Ethernet cable plugged into the router with this U-Green adapter. Now, you also want to make sure that the cable that you're using, I don't know if you can see it here, if it's, if it's not too blurry, is definitely a Cat6 cable stranded and you want to make sure it's the shortest possible. So this cable right here is only three feet long and that's because my router is within the vicinity of the Nexus player, I don't need anything longer than three feet. So the shorter the cable, the better signal you're, you're transmitting through it. And you also want to make sure that your cable is a Cat6, not a Cat5, not a Cat5e, Cat6 stranded. And again, I will post the information on all this equipment so you can get the right equipment and you want to make sure this again is plugged into the wall and not just one that's that's running off of power via the USB. You want to actually make sure it's plugged into the wall. And you want to make sure this is Cat6 and again 
going back to this adapter from Ugreen, Ugreen makes a whole bunch of these, you want to make sure you get the right one for the Nexus player and not the one for Chromecast. So in another video, I'll go ahead and do a uh, speed test, and hopefully you enjoyed the video. Once again, I'll go ahead and post all the information so you can have all the links where you can get the exact equipment and not make any mis mistakes in trying to shop around and get the wrong equipment for this type of application. Again, it also will allow you to use your keyboard and your mouse when you're running your Nexus player from your TV. It is a wonderful thing. We have en been enjoying it, so we hope you can do as well. Again, this is Noah with Save Green here. Thank you for watching.